Forensics gave the mask a once over and stuffed it down in the basement. I have to go down and scoop it scoop it out. Okay. Oh wait. Officer Bando, a recent transfer from Osaka. It seems that Saki is uh, on the front desk is quite smitten by the guy. Okay. Hi, you must be the new transfer from Osaka. I'm Detective Ito. That's right, transfer me in last week. How are you doing, Detective? Please call me Bando. Y'all have got a big station here, embarrassed to say, but we never could find my way around Tokyo Branch all, all that well. I get myself lost half the time, to tell you the truth. So, you must be the one that's, that's all over the news. Don't worry, never could trust the press. None of them know a damn thing about police work. If you're asking me, it would have sounded like you got caught a rough one. Sorry about your partner. Thanks. Rough is an understatement. Alright. Gave him the envelope. Uh, Ishibashi at the front desk wanted me to give you this. Huh? Saki did? Well, hand it over then and let's have a look. Oh, uh, well, I didn't reckon she'd send something like this. That's just because I don't know her like we do, Officer Bando. Yeah, well, do me a favor, would you? I know, I know, it's not exactly professional, but tell her to meet me on the roof in about 20 minutes. I'll do it myself, but I'm too busy. Uh, I'm also busy, dude. I'm also busy. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? Uh, uh. What should I, what should I say? What should I say? What should I say? What should I say? Like, I'm going to lose professionalism for this. I know it. I like, I absolutely know it. Okay, so just thinking about it. Mm. If you didn't notice, I'm a little busy, Bendo, but if you want to fool around with Ishibashi, you surely can do it on your own time. I oh, jeez. I won't twist your arm or anything, but I would sure appreciate it. Oh my god, yes! I lose nothing! Uh, let me go over and get the, get the mask. Okay, uh, a security camera watching the entrance to the locker 24-7. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, earthquake. Didn't, uh, didn't, uh, didn't think you'd stick a around down here after the big earthquake this morning, Mori. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, I'm trying to keep my mind off of it. How are you holding up, detective? Thinking it one day at a time, I guess. Honestly, I'm surprised to find you still working evidence. I'm not gonna put in the recommendations for your promotion. Yeah, I, th I think the people upstairs have got other things on their minds right now from the sounds of things. Besides, I think they stuck me down here because I was asking too many questions on my last case. May have pissed off a few of the wrong people. Eck. It makes me squirm thinking that I, it'll be like being in an earthquake in this basement. I wish you hadn't remind me. Oh, I'm really sorry about Tanaka, Detective Ito. I respect him a I respected him a lot. He'll truly be missed. Thanks, I miss him too. The gate to the evidence room is locked. Mori has the key, but in desperate times, I've seen Tanaka pick the, the lock to get in. Okay, so can I talk to him? Uh... Probably... And was on the roof. I passed on the letter you gave me. You did? Way to go, Yami. What did he say? Was it too much? Wait, he didn't read read it to you. Oh god, you read it. Please forget everything you saw. So slow down, I didn't read it. He asked me to tell you to meet him on the roof as, as soon as possible. On the roof? That's romantic, right? It's like I'm in a TV drama. Oh my god, did, we, did, did she just say TV drama? <laughs> Oh dang it, if I leave my pulse and something happens on those cameras, Yukimura will go nuclear. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I've got it. Uh, you're not on duty uh, now, right? Watch the front desk for me and uh, it won't be long, 10 minutes tops. Please, please, please. Sure. 
That's my girl. I knew he, I can count on you not to stand in my way of true love. <laughs> true love. I'll be right back. True love. Okay. With Saki gone, I could disable the recording systems and move around with the with the uh, remove around the station without being seen, but not without getting her in trouble with Yukimura. What a goober! Oh my God, are you serious? I lost professionalism again. Damn it! I know this will hurt you, Saki, but I need that mask and I can't have anyone seeing me. I lost freaking professionalism again. Okay, so I must press the button. Wait. I did not want to do that. Wait, can I wait, 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 can I go back? No, that's not what that is not what I wanted to do. No! I I picked the wrong thing! I picked the wrong thing! No! Oh no! I have to knock him out! I thought it was going to be okay if I just turned them off. I could have I could have just kept it on. Oh well. The evidence is locked away and there was no other option. I didn't take any pleasure in it. But, but he was out before I could I can before he hit the ground. The pick though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm 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 going to feel really sad at the very end because I picked the wrong thing. I respected Mori, but at the moment he was in my way. And that'll leave a mark. <laughs> okay, where is the mask? There it is. As I held the mask in my hands again, I immediately questioned why I, I'd gone through such great lengths to get it back. A small piece of evidence wasn't worth the risk. It was it wasn't the answer to my problems. As it's, it's strange as it sounds, I hoped the mask would react in, in the same way it did when I touched it in Kamakura. At least that would have justified what I'd done to prove the sensation I felt that day wasn't in my head. The mask I held in the in the evidence locker was nothing more than a rough old wood, no voices or visions. Only an eerie quiet left in the wake of 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 course I held on to it. The case was only getting started, and Reina's obsession with it couldn't be an, an 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 accident. It still had a part to play. Alright. I choose wrong. The mask is in my hands. I quickly got out of the station and jumped on the first train to Shibuku. Back to the alley where the whole mess had started, something told me there was more to find in the sewer. The mask itself could wait until later. As the train made its way there, images and thoughts from the night engulfed me and started to feel, in, uh, started to feel queasy. At my stop approach, the pit in my gut changed from fear to something else. I realized I had enough of other people telling me what to feel or how to act. I didn't know what to expect, but I knew that the only way I could get, I could get, wait, the only one who could give me any sense of closure was myself. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. You again. Hey, hey, take it easy. I saw what you did to, to go to at the bar the other night. Uh, I don't want any trouble. You can relax. I'm off duty. Besides, you know as well as I do that guy was a scumbag. 
Making him wet his pants was the only way of getting anything useful out of him. Ha, huh, can't exactly argue with that, but scum or not, he's a big earner. You could have been a bit more gentle. Heh, <laughs> sorry. It's fine. I'm sure he'll be back eventually, wh whether I want him to be or not. Anyway, I, uh, heard n the news about what happened to you and your partner that night. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Thanks. I didn't figure out uh, you'd care much about what happened to a cop, all things considered. Considering what? My job? It's true. Police come in, come in here all the time and act like gods. They order drinks, threaten me, and feel me up thinking I, I don't care. And feel me up thinking I don't. My boss tells me to ignore it since happy cops are good for business. Honestly, they're worse than the customers that they're supposed to protect us from. So yeah, all things considered, I don't love the police, but that, that doesn't make me a robot. Nobody deserves to die alone. If you told your buddies at the station that something terrible like that happened to me, some, some nobody hostess, you think they'll give a shit. Some people would, just like Kazuki. I wish I could say you're wrong, but years in the force have taught me that being a police officer doesn't make you a better person. A lot of people lose sight of what it is to be human just because some government official gave you a badge. How long have you been doing this job? Not long, only about two years in four different shops. They all promised the same thing, better pay and customers will treat you back. I'm still waiting on both those things. Business has been in pits lately, and I've gotten some officers that might pay offers that might pay better, but 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 they're at clubs with more of an adult vibe. They said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I don't know. I've heard rumors about what can happen of some girls in those places. Country girls like me doesn't exactly have a whole lot of job prospects, and It'll be good money. This one's easy. Don't do it. But ever hear the phrase, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Oh no, not really. Well, take it from me. No one's going out of their way to help you. But that doesn't mean that you can help yourself. That just, just think, think it over before you say yes to that offer, okay? I think uh, I'd be getting advice from a cop. All right. I'll think about it. You got a name? Yeah, it's Miho. Don't tell anyone though. The boss don't like it when customers know our real names. Between us girls, I've wanted to slam Goto into a wall for months. <laughs> oh my god, that would that. Well, to be honest with you, it was amazing when I made him pee himself. That that was amazing. I agree. I loved it. Okay. I want- uh, okay, so see you around, detective. Ah, oh, that was great. Okay, anything else? It was funny, it was funny. If you rewatch the- the- uh, the VOD, mwah, it was beautiful. I lost prof- I, I lost professionalism, though. It felt bad, I felt bad. Oh, hello, detective. I- uh, Heard what happened that night after the p other police and the reporter show up. Oh boy. I'm really, uh, I'm real sorry to hear about your partner. I can't even imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. Thanks, Daiso. Right? Yep, that's me. I'm surprised you remember that, detective. No need for detective. I'm not on duty. Ayami is fine. How are things? Did you, th uh, did that night hurt your business too? In all honesty, business wasn't really better or worse because of it. If anything, I got a little ups, uptick when the reporters were here. But eventually they left too, just like everyone else. It was always my dream to cook and start a restaurant, but it's been a constant hill, uphill struggle. Uh, what's the point? Maybe, mm, should I say something different or don't give up? Because if I say don't give up, he, he he's going to stay here or maybe he can try something different. 
something not exactly a bar, but it can also it can be something else, you know? You're right. What's the point of trying for people who clearly don't care? With some people, no matter how much you work, it doesn't matter. Daizo, you seem like a nice guy, but this job clearly isn't cutting it, uh, cutting it or making you happy. The restaurant business is ugly. If you can't handle the stress, maybe you should try something new. A different career? Are you saying I should be a salaryman in an office somewhere? Gee, I don't know if I could do a job like that. Well, I didn't say that exactly. No, no, it's okay. No need to apologize. Maybe you're right. I'm not getting any younger. Maybe I should throw in the towel. Hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Maybe there's something else that you're good at. Yeah, maybe. I'll see you around. I, I tried something different. I tried something different, so. Um. Keypad. Uh, right, okay, it's the same thing. Wait, let me see. A small of rotting meat. A phone ringing over and over. Reina, did that all really happen? Enter. Let me see if there's anything here. Oh, oh hey, is that it's that detective from the other night? I wonder if she remembers me. That detective is right here, and you can, and I can hear you, and she's standing right next to you, Kobayashi. Wow, how you how do you know my name? It's on your name tag. <laughs> it's your name tag. Don't think too hard about it, kid. You might hurt yourself. Anyway, I'm just like surprised you need to talk to me again. I don't. Just passing through. Alright. That's good. I think I already said everything I could to that other guy. Would have to rack my brain pretty hard to come up with a new material, you know? Material. What? What other guy? Taito, Titus, Typhoon? Tyra! Oh my god. Detective Tyra was here? What did you- what did you tell him? Alright, Tyra, yeah. I told him where you were- uh, you- you were here. And you were pretty hardcore. You told him I was hardcore? What does that mean exactly? You know, I told him that you were a cop, like, didn't play by the rules. Who had a drink if they, if they wanted to. Like, you know, take the edge off and stuff. You told him I... Damn it, what else did you say? I, uh, not much else to tell. I told him I heard a firecracker outside before you came in and about a broken lock and how you said uh, you've seen a strange girl. I mean, nothing bad. Whoa, your eyes got all intense There's there for a second. That's nothing, just dust in my eyes. Painful, stupid, idiotic dust that is causing me to squint harshly. Yikers! She is super mad because all the things that I that I chose to do got her in trouble. Oh yeah, detective, you should be careful. It's super dusty in here. Thank you. I'm going to leave now. Enjoy your day. All right. Let's see. This police tape is all that's left of the department's investigation. They're more focused in, focused in writing me off as insane than finding answers in, the, in that sewer. Alright. It's now or never. No more excuses. I need to have a look around and find out uh, what really happened that night. Alright, here we go. <sighs> The air still feels heavy, uh, feels as heavy and stale as it did the, the night I came in here looking for Kazuki. Doesn't look like much has ever changed then. I'm not sure why I expected anything different. Even if it turns out to be nothing, I should have a look around to see if I can... It's, it, to see what I find. I've already came this far anyway. So... No one seemed to question why the shrine gate was down here, or who put it here in the first place. Or I said it wasn't uh, relevant in, to the case. Like, how do you even find this? 
Found the well is hidden in darkness. Students in the course of investigating the crime scene, a rope was brought in to get down. Which thought of that? And then you bonk me, chill? What the heck? Come on! You gotta do that to me? To be honest, I delivered on my promise. Even though I did not like the ending result of my choices, this is where it gets interesting. The story, I mean. You will know what I mean by that in later episodes. Also, did I mention I love cats? <laughs> well, anyway, please like, comment, and share this video and consider joining the Teacup Discord server. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Until next time, please do take care.